uh, this woman believed in me and tried to help me to get to the top floor. So she, I don't know what she was doing, but she went away. And then as I was, I saw some stairs going up into this courthouse, I'm like, I need to get past there. I'm kind of hiding. And this guard kind of goes away and I shoot right past her and I'm going up the steps. And at once, this is almost like a movie, like, like going on in my mind. I was like, this is crazy. This is almost like a movie. But it's not. This is I felt like real life. So I get to the top floor, and this woman stops me and says, "What you know? What are you doing?" I'm like, "I need to stop this. This is insane. What are you doing?" And before I could do any, I don't know. She was like a computer screen at her desk. Before I could do anything to stop what was going on, she hits this red button, <clears throat> and. Uh, all of a sudden, I got this image, and I look out, and hundreds, not dozens, but for some reason, around hundreds, just... Hello, Cloud9 family, and welcome back. I truly hope that you are all doing very well and are having a blessed day in the Lord. It is so great to be back with you again in this series of videos where we get to experience them together. And so many brothers and sisters in Christ are having such powerful rapture dreams visions, tribulation dreams, and even near-death experiences in these end times. And they want to share all of these experiences with all of you that are watching this video today. I also want to take this time to thank all of you so much, channel family, for subscribing to this channel, for commenting the very encouraging words, not only to myself, but to the brethren, and also hitting the like button because that is how YouTube knows that you are enjoying this series of videos and recommends them out to more people on YouTube. So please continue to like the videos and hit the thumbs up because my hope is that it will reach more people this channel and that the videos will bless more people to see of what is to come and to get saved now before it is too late. In this video today, we're going to be looking at a submission from our brother in Christ, Nathan, who had an end time dream that he wanted to share with us, and it is pointing to the mark of the beast. So without further ado, brothers and sisters, let's now take a look and see what our brother in Christ, Nathan, saw in his experience. Hello, friends and family. I wanted to jump on here again and tell you about another dream I've had. Uh, it seems that since I've come back to God, come back to Jesus and have him in my life more and more, the dreams just keep coming. They just keep coming and coming and they're just more realistic. And it's it's amazing on on Acts 2.17 uh, how I keep seeing on the web and different different YouTube channels how it's coming into fruition on how the visions and dreams will pour out on, on men and young men and women and, and all this is, is coming into fruition. And it, it, it's amazing to me, but, uh, this is, a uh, this is probably about the probably fifth or sixth dream. I can't remember how many I've had so far, but I'm just going to go ahead and hop into it and, and tell you what I've got, what happened. So today is Friday, July 19th. And I've had this dream about five or six days ago. So it begins with me in a dark tunnel. I'm with others. So I'm in a dark tunnel. And uh, we are scrambling about. Uh, we're, we're together like we're in hiding or something. And I like I, let me tell you, I haven't seen a movie or a TV show in, in months. You know, I, I usually just watch kind of YouTube, different channels, and read my Bible, you know, listen to listen to things on iHeart, you know, different things. And uh, anyway, I say that because for some reason, Bruce Willis was in this dream, and he had a cart, and he was passing out uniforms like we were about to conduct something together, like we were on a mission. And uh, after that gets done, we're all going to our posts, and I, and all of a sudden it changes, uh, scenery changes. I'm in a courthouse kind of setting 
where you got a different like three or four stories or something like that marble floors like it looks like a courthouse but there were people with guards there were guards in uniform black uniforms with you know with the gun they're strapped like this and uh i'm going to tell you uh most of them were women women and uh i for some reason i noticed that i had a woman had caught me at the corner of her eye. I was trying to get to the top floor for some reason on my mission and I don't know how, what transpired or how we spoke but she believed in in God and Jesus and believed in what I was doing, what my mission was but I tried to explain to her, okay the, the mission was I know we are the mark of the beast we're going to have a chip or, or whoever takes the mark of the beast will have it in their forehead or in their hand but i got the impression that this popped into my dream that it's some kind of sliver a, a metallic kind of sliver that holds like information it's not some itty bitty tiny chip it's it's a, a sliver of a kind of chrome type thing that it's, it's in in your head and i had to somehow stop it and uh, this woman believed in me and tried to help me to get to the top floor. So she, I don't know what she was doing, but she went away. And then as I, was, I saw some stairs going up into this courthouse, I'm like, I need to get past there. I'm kind of hiding. And this guard kind of goes away and I shoot right past her and I'm going up the steps. And at once, this is almost like a movie, like, like going on in my mind. I was like, this is crazy. This is almost like a movie. But it's not. This is all, I felt like real life. So I get to the top floor, and this woman stops me and says, "What you know? What are you doing?" I'm like, "I need to stop this. This is insane. What are you doing?" And before I could do any, I don't know. She was like a computer screen at her desk. Before I could do anything to stop what was going on, she hits this red button, <clears throat> and. Uh, all of a sudden, I got this image, and I look out, and hundreds, not dozens, but for some reason, around hundreds, just dropped dead, just fell to the ground with a, with a single hit of this button. Now, and then I woke up. So I didn't know what to make of this. Uh, part of me tells me the interpretation was, I've been thinking about this, that you can't fight fate. Uh, no matter how much we want to stop what is biblical, we just have to let it happen. But we have to live our lives at the same time. We know what's going to happen. Like, you, you can't fight what God has already ordained. But you just have to ride it out and keep your trust and faith in him. And that's pretty much, that's pretty much it. Uh, I don't know how else to, if you have another interpretation of this, that would be great. But yeah, this is, uh, the dreams are intensifying and the more you stay with God and believe in him and read your word and being the last days, the dreams and visions are pouring out like I've never seen before, seeing testimonies and, and I, th I thank God. I love him and thank him every single day. And we just have to ride out the storm that's coming because we're all going to be caught up with him going into heaven. And I can't wait for that glorious day, but I can't, I need to start, I need to, I need to start thinking about who I'm going to take with me that it's hard seeing what's going on out there, that these people are going to be left behind. And we got to think about how, if we don't know what to say, somebody told me, if you just don't know what to say, I mean, we're not, a lot of us aren't pastors. We're not preachers. We don't know a lot of the word, like, like we do in our hearts, but all, sometimes all you have to say is. You know, Jesus loves you. Just those three words. Jesus loves you. And then and then it should come to you. Like if someone wants to strike a conversation, you can start by how how Jesus saved, you know. They start talking, oh, well, what about Jesus? And then how, how he changed your life. And then the ball will just keep rolling. Holy Spirit should intercede and, and take over. And, and you, you'll know what to say then. But that's all I have. That's my dream. And I want to thank everybody uh, for watching this. I I pray for everyone who's watching this, and I hope this touches anybody or, or who can interpret this. That would be great. Let me know in the comments. Thank you, and God bless.
Thank you so much for sharing this with us, brother. That was definitely an urgent end time experience that you had. Definitely action packed, like you said, like a movie. And it seems almost like it could possibly be a movie, right? But it is something that is going to be so real, all the details, especially with the mark. And you're talking about the soldiers and this happening and it being prophetic because it definitely is. It's written in the word of God that all these things are going to come to pass. And it's not something that we can change because it has been written and it has been something that the Lord has had planned for so many years. And so I know and I do believe that many people will try to stop this from happening, but it's not going to be able to be stopped because it has to be fulfilled. And that is what the word of God says here. Your experience had me thinking about a lot of things, but most in specific was the fact that you mentioned about knowing that this mark was going to be implanted into many people and you wanted to stop it in your experience. And you mentioned that it was some sort of slither of, uh, I believe it was like technology that was put in the head and stored information. And then of course in the hand, and you mentioned about a lot of women being soldiers that were there um, in this building. And, but there was another lady that was a believer and was trying to help you to get up to the highest level of the building to go ahead and stop this. But you mentioned about the lady who had a button and that she pressed it and then people went down immediately when she did that. And I am going to go ahead and share that scripture in just a moment because I think it's really important for a lot of people to know where they can find it in the word of God, especially someone that might be watching this video today that has no idea what it means, what it's going to lead to, and what it, how it all ties into Bible prophecy. But your experience was definitely vivid in those details that you tried so hard to stop it, but you could not. And it is why it is so important that people get saved now before it is too late. And they can if they believe and receive the free gift of salvation. And if you're watching this video today and you want to know where you can find those scriptures because you want to know the Lord and you want to be saved and you don't want to have to deal with this time then please get saved and you can find those scriptures in 1 Corinthians 15, 1 through 4, how that Christ died on the cross for our sins, that he was buried and that he rose again on the third day according to the scriptures. John 3, 16 says, For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever believeth in him shall not perish, but have everlasting life. It is by believing in your heart and confessing with your mouth that Jesus is Lord, and you will be saved. Because when you come to him, you have repented. It is a change of mind metanoia. You've decided you want to walk the way with the Lord and be with him for an eternity. The Holy Spirit will dwell within you, lead you, guide you, strengthen you, give you the discernment that you need in these end times, and give you a peace unlike that you have ever, ever experienced in your life. So please believe and receive that free gift of salvation today because it is one of the best gifts that you can ever receive. I now want to read the scripture of where you can find about the mark of the beast because it is really important that people know what the implications will be if they accept this mark and the importance of not taking it because if they do take it, they will not be able to be with the Lord for an eternity. And it is in Revelation chapter 13, verse 16 through 17. And he causeth all, both small and great, rich and poor, free and bond, to receive a mark in their right hand or in their foreheads, and that no man might buy or sell, save he had the mark or the name of the beast or the number of his name. That is a very, very powerful scripture. So I truly want to thank you again, Brother Nathan, for sharing this video with the channel family and his YouTube channel information will be in the description box down below. So please head over there and subscribe. Please type in the comments box, Jesus loves you. Please type Jesus loves you because he loves each and every one of us so very much and will soon be catching us away to meet with him in the air, the harpazo, the rapture. It is coming so very soon, and I truly hope that you are all excited as well. So I truly want to thank you from the bottom of my heart for taking the time to watch this video today. And until next time, may God bless you all and have a very, 
blessed week.